Okay, so the number one feature in last night's InDesign user group meeting when we went through all of the new features in InDesign was the fact that we can do a lot more with interactivity. And out of all of those interactivity features, the one that really got a big applause was the fact that we can build our own motion paths now and generate, generate really a custom animation. So what I'm going to show you right now is what I showed the guys last night is how to get a bunch of fish swimming around in an aquarium. So let's get started. All right, so here we have our aquarium and a bunch of fish that we're going to make swim across the screen. I'm going to start by drawing a motion path for this very first fish here, just using the pencil tool. And he's leaving on the other side of the screen. Now select both the path and the fish and in the animation panel right here at the bottom we have the ability to convert that path that I've just drawn into a motion path. As soon as I do that that fish will literally sort of follow that path as it's going to start animating or swimming across the screen. I'm going to get that fish to take a little bit of time let's make it four seconds to jump across the screen and then once he's sort of off the screen, I'll get him to loop and come back in from the left-hand side again. And we'll um, also get the fish to increase in size as he goes from the left to the right-hand side of the screen. So we'll get the appearance that he's sort of getting closer to us. So let's increase that percentage a bit. How big can we make it? Well, about 3-10%. That's, um, that's pretty good, I reckon. Quick preview. I'm just going to preview the selected item, so I'm going to click this first button here. That just means that the preview just happens a little bit quicker. You can see he's gradually growing in size, and then once he hits the other side, he's indeed looping. So I'll um, stop that and close the preview again. And we'll actually repeat that action for the other two fish. So we'll start by drawing another motion path. This one's going to go on a bit of an adventure down the bottom of the screen, and again vanishing and we'll select both of them back to the animation panel convert the path to the motion path he's going really slow and he's going to get a lot bigger let's make him um, 400 percent there we go and also loop him one more motion path for this one here He's going to disappear off the screen and we'll make this one reduce in size as he moves from right to left. So he's like disappearing in the distance and we'll just get them to go in about three seconds. So he's swimming a little bit faster and yeah, we'll loop him as well. So we've got them all looping. Let me check the other one for a sec. So that one's looping as well. Fantastic. All done. So let's have a preview now of this particular page. And what you'll see is that the first fish will start to come in first, then the second one will come in, and the third one will come in, and then they'll start repeating. But that's not really what I want to do. The timing is not quite right. So let's close this. What I really want to do is all three of them to start playing together. And how do I do that? Literally in the timing panel, shift click the fishies, three little Nemos. I know, they don't look like Nemos. I can hear you say that. And we'll click this little button here, the play together button. So they're going to be playing together and have a lot of fun. I'm going to get them to play immediately so there's no delay. Um, or anything and they'll immediately play on page load so that as soon as this page appears these fishes will start moving let's have a look at the preview again and just to see if that now all works together ha I just think this is fun I can just sit here come up with patterns and little animation schemes for, for all sorts of um, artwork it's just incredible what can I say Thank you, Adobe, and I'm looking forward to whatever you come up with in the future, but I absolutely love this. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here for now. Catch you guys next time.